Hi, honey. Q and A. Fan mail. Lovely. The weather has cooled off enough that I am, in fact, wearing a hat. Gander upon it and be amused. Then to some questions. Brickasaurus asks, which blaster company do you think has the most potential for the next five years? Nerf, Dart Zone, X-Shot, or Busby? Ooh. That's an excellent question. It rather depends on your definition of potential. If you're just going, which company is going to make the most money? Well, it's going to be Nerf. It's going to be Hasbro. Uh, they've just got the largest market share, and nobody's come close to that yet. If you're talking about who's going to come out with the best blasters, that also de depends on your definition of best. Um, for, like, competitive stuff, right now, Dart Zone is definitely ahead of the game. X-Shot's come out with some good stuff, and I don't think Busby's even trying. Um, but Nerf, uh, their pro line is proving better than expected. The Strife X was fantastic. I, I really wish they'd continued on that line and just made pro-level versions of pre-existing blasters, long shots, uh, the Recon, the Alpha Trooper, and the Hammer Shot. I uh, would have loved to have seen pro-level versions of those, and maybe they still will, though, given where they went with the, the, the newer Pro Blasters, probably not. But those also have a lot of potential. They shifted gears to less expensive, uh, which had, you know, pros and cons to it. Uh, the biggest complaint about the Strife X was the cost. The, pro line, the new Pro line is much cheaper, but isn't as good because they had to, you know, slash the price by more than 50%, you're gonna lose stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm really curious to see where they go. Between their, their, their market value, their marketing, their R&D budget, uh, their manufacturing capabilities, they have the potential to do more than any of the other companies. Uh, Dart Zone right now definitely is producing the better blasters, in my opinion, but Hasbro's catching up. Um, X-Shot has come out with one really good Pro Blaster. Apparently there's another one coming. Um, I'm interested to see where they go. They're also, you know, the very cheap ones, but their performance is still good because, again, they're building their stuff based on the stuff that we have developed over years of R&D, and so they don't have to spend nearly as much in R&D. They just have to adapt it for their manufacturing style and their, their budget. X-Shot are much cheaper, which has pros and cons. There's going to be a train coming in here in a minute. Uh, and Busby, I don't think, is even trying, so... Now, yeah. uh, we're gonna break for train. <laughs> On with the question. Random Idea Generator, have you ever seen Stargate SG-1 and or Atlantis? I have seen several seasons of Stargate SG-1. Didn't ever finish it. But I enjoyed it. Cullen Veneman. Would you have any ideas on how to print chain mail? So most of the chain mail that I have seen printed, they they printed a raft. So you end up, you print a layer of 3D filament that you then print on the rings onto that. Um, most slicers have an option to add a raft when you do the um, supports, uh, and that is what I think uh, prevents it from detaching from the the base because of how little surface area each ring would have on the surface because it's printed at usually a weird angle. Um, yeah, I think what you need is a raft. I could be wrong, but that is what I, I seem to recall always seeing. They're always peeling it off of a raft. Uh, and I think that's the term for putting down a layer first. Linker, would you require, what would you require in a shotgun to be n war practical as a primary for you? For me, it would need to be fun. That's the primary requirement for uh, anything. Um, practical, war practical is, is a nebulous term. It depends on what you're trying to get out of it. But um, for our wars, is that another train already? So our wars uh, are uh, generally 150 FPS. Um, so you'd want to get somewhere around there just so you can actually hit something. Now if you're playing it at like in my arena where it's all CQB, you could get away with a lower FPS as long as it has a good spread. Um, typically you're gonna want it to fire at least three rounds, possibly more if possible, but when you get up past three rounds, unless you're, and make, well, you could probably do six half dart depending on it, um, it starts taking up a lot of, like the shells take up more room, and that's the other thing is capacity. 
it, you know, you're going to need enough capacity so that you're not having to reload shells after every couple of shots. Um, I'd love to have something magazine fed. I'd love to have, I would want it to be pump action. It would need to be, you know, relatively reliable. Uh, I do have a couple of the Colonel Wasps, um, Fireflies, Colonel Wasp Fireflies. Uh, I do have a pump, uh, they're both pump action. One of them is magazine fed. I haven't had a chance to actually run them. I would love to at some point. Uh, in my arena, I can use the 50 cal rounds, and there you can fit, I think, three or four of them in each shell. And uh, so that's decent, and it gets decent performance. And again, in my arena, it's short range, so I'm not terribly concerned about the, the performance. Um, it's something I like Borst. The biggest problem with most shotguns, or a lot of the shotguns, is the shell ejection is, while neat, it does make it a little bit easier to reload. Um, it is a logistic nightmare. You have to carry the shells, you have to pick up the shells, you have to reload the shells, and then you load the shells in. Um, it does allow you to have a variety of ammo types, which is neat, less useful in most wars. Um, I, I'd be more inclined to go with something like a, a, a Megalodon with the, the shotgun cylinder. Um, would be, you know, less logistics because you just have to load darts into it as opposed to having to reload shells. Um, yeah, the, the same things as most things. It needs to be reliable, it needs to have good capacity, it needs to, you know, be functional. Koshkut the Cat. Are there any brands of root beer you know that you haven't tried? Not that I can think of, but wait for it. Have you tried 49th State Brewery's root beer? No! And so now we have a different answer for that first question. Um, there are a lot of microbreweries in the country, probably thousands, uh, and many of them have their own root beer as a non-alcoholic option and just because root beer is tasty and fun. Um, and I probably haven't had a fraction of the various microbreweries. Um, if somebody wants to send me a bottle of 49th State Brewery's root beer, I would love that. That would be delightful. Donix. This is a Lego question. Do you like Lego Bionicle or any other construction, construction figure lines? Um, I, I'm, 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 an old, I'm an elder millennial. Our relationship with Bionicle is often one of get off my lawn. Um, it's, it's not proper Lego. And it, it also came at the end of the dark age of Lego, the late 90s, where everything I loved about Lego was gone. Um, the, the, the sets were horrible, the, it was, I was, I didn't have money for it anyway. Um, it, it was a dark time. And then they brought out Bionicle, and it, it, it was the, the corner, it was the, the capstone on all of that dark age, you know, dystopian horror, you know, disappointment. Um, because it was even further from what I'd hoped, you know, the... The castle sets they've been coming out with were no good. The pirate sets they've been coming out with no good. The space sets were, were no good. They were poorly designed and, and, and not well engineered. Um, and then they brought us something that wasn't even, you know, to us, wasn't Lego. Uh, and so, no, I, I never had... I was never something I, was, I really thought was cool or really wanted to go out and get, and I had a very negative opinion of it for a long time. And then I saw the toys that made us, the, the documentary about various toys from our childhood, and learned that Bionicle ultimately saved Lego. That Lego was on the verge of going bankrupt. They almost had to sell out to Mattel. Uh, and they made one last attempt to turn it around, and Bionicle was one of the things that saved them because it was entirely in-house. They weren't paying royalties on it. They could market it however they want. They could do whatever they want with it. And it did really, really well. You know, they had TV shows and movies and comic books and toys and merch and backpacks and masks and all of that. It was They were able to market it very, very well, and it ultimately was one of the things that saved the company. And so I have a, a deep appreciation for Bionicle, but I still don't have any interest in Bionicle. So that's my, that's my relationship with Bionicle. Jonathan Berry. What are your opinions on the band System of the Down? I like them. I like most of their music. It's good stuff. Weird. But I like it. CSG Epic. Will you make any more Drain Blaster builds? Probably. 
I've got one I've been meaning to finish forever, and now I have better technology to do it even better. I might not use a drain blaster now, though. I might use something else. Because now I have a better understanding of things like solenoids. Motorized pumps. Shiny Sylve. Tips for physical training for Nerf games. Cardio? Probably cardio. I'm not the one to ask. Look at me. Hardly the uh, pinnacle specimen of Nerf physique. Um, but, uh, for, I mean, just for physical training, yeah, just cardio. Lots of running, um, crouching, kneeling, more running. And of course, you know, your, your blaster drills, your reload drills, your, your, your ducking, your covering, your communication with your teammates, but uh, a lot of cardio. You're going to need, you're gonna need cardio. Hindle poons. Being left-handed, do you find any tools awkward? And do you have any specifically left-handed tools? I really only have one specifically left-handed tool. I do have a pair of left-handed scissors, uh, which Sergeant Deplorable recently uh, attempted to use. I had, he asked for scissors. I gave him scissors. I didn't realize I'd given him the left-handed ones. And he found it incredibly awkward, which was very fitting, as what us lefties have to deal with all of our lives. But most of the tools that I use on a regular basis are relatively ambidextrous. My Dremel uh, is ambidextrous. My soldering iron is ambidextrous. Screwdrivers are ambidextrous. Um, I do have some power tools that are a little bit uh, awkward. I, my circular saw is decidedly right-handed, and it's a little bit... Um, angle grinder. I think I've got an angle grinder, and that's also distinctly right-handed for a variety of reasons. Um, I've seen all kinds of st statistics on how many lefties are injured each year by right-handed, by equipment that's designed to be right-handed. I don't know how much it's true. It's probably apocryphal, but um, I have run into situations where it was kind of awkward. But as you know, being left-handed and being in a right-handed world your entire life, you tend to adapt for the most part. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can do almost as well right-handed as I can left-handed, just because it's you kind of have to. Um, but it, it is a thing. It is a thing. I always appreciate when people take the time to make sure that their blaster design is ambidextrous. Uh, and some people do, and some people don't, and sometimes you can't, and, you know. Uh, yeah. Ha-ha! Oh, I hit the stand, but... All right, let's get to the package. I have several that I believe I know what they are. Uh, and two, I have absolutely no idea. I got one from a country I'm not sure I've ever gotten stuff from before. The first three are from the Amazon Distribution Center, and I'm reasonably certain are is happiness being sent to me by Sparky the Saint, Sparky Santos. I don't know how he keeps finding more Chima. It hasn't been made for a decade. And yet, he still finds more. I don't know that he's sent me this one before. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, Another one. This one looks vaguely familiar. Bird people. I've got a whole army, pretty much, of the Chima at this point. Or at least I should make them into an army. And one more. Now that one's cool. I did not have that one. Flamey firebird looking character. Sweet. Frax. Ewar and Windsor. Hm. Cool. Very cool. Thank you, as always. I always appreciate a bit of happiness. Alright, I have a package here from Captain Shotgun. We need to get on, uh, get off my lawn at some point. I think we've got our next one lined up, and then, uh, and we might have an opening. Good lord! All kinds of stuff. Just, just acres of stuff. And a note! 
Hello, Captain. I hope this package finds you well. I enjoy having you on my live stream. I hope we can do it again sometime. In the box, I've included the free X-Shot uh, bolt action reshell kit that I received by accident from Maritime Foam, who refused to let me pay for the parts. I thought I would pass it on to you. I know you don't get... Uh, you don't like bolt, uh, right-handed bolt action, so I thought you may want to pass it on to a crew member. I probably will. I also included a few other goodies that I hope you enjoy. I appreciate everything you do for the hobby. You are a huge inspiration to me and my channel. Having you on my live stream was a big deal for me, so I thank you again for being such an, such an inspiring and kind person. Enjoy the rest of your day. Your friend, Captain Shotgun. Well, you are welcome for everything, and this, this is lost. What do we got here? We have a fire strike. And with no AR. Very nice, very nice. Now look at that. That's neat. <laughs> very cool, very cool. A copper pistol, minimized. Very nifty. Well, I'll no doubt need to look up how exactly this is put together. I'm assuming it uses internals from another blaster. Alright, there's the bolt. I wonder where this goes. Ah, that's supposed to be connected. Very cool. Anyway, yeah, I will look that up and get it built. I have another thing from Maritime Foam I've been meaning to make a video on for ever and just haven't gotten around to it. Put all this aside. Very cool. Thank you for passing that on. That is pretty schnazzy. And finally, we have a package here from a Carl Dana in... Snarage, which I wasn't aware, is Sweden. So, a package from Sweden. I don't know that I've ever been... I may have gotten something from Sweden before. A note! Good stuff! A minifig! I'm assuming this is a minifig of them, or perhaps a minifig of me. Who knows? <clears throat> Greetings, Captain. I live in Sweden, and I discover your videos through Goodwill Hunts, mods, can take a K26, and other things. The two toy guns I haven't seen in your videos are the Lord of the Rings Urukai Bow and Arrow Set, and the Lord of the Rings Urukai Crossbow. The crossbow may actually have been in one of my videos when I was in the Nerf Curator's warehouse back in the day. I think he had one and it may have shown up, but it didn't work. I didn't know there was a bow and arrow set. The Yukai bow and arrow set can or can't be upgraded uh, with an air pump action? I have no idea. That would be neat. Uh, the Yukai crossbow, wonder if it can take a K26 or a spring upgrade. I want to say... Uh, I think the reason it wasn't working is the curator had tried, and it takes a really specific spring dimension. Uh, I want to say it's like a reverse plunger system, and so it has to fit around, or, or, or it, was, it was weird. Um, anything can be upgraded if you can find the right spring. Um, sometimes you can you might have to have it custom made, which is an option. That's a thing that that is a that is a thing that can be done. Um, so I give you a toy gun bubbles thing and a custom Lego minifig for you from Lieutenant Carl. P.S. Don't point that thing at me. I will. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Depends on what it is and the situation. So here's the fig. I can't tell if it's meant to be me. It could be me. Looks me-ish. Am I supposed to be them? I don't know what they look like. We're in. Aha!
It's a minigun that fires bubbles. I love it. I want to take a look at it. It's adorable. You know, I've seen Busby blasters that had less comfortable grips than this. That's that's not too bad. No, we have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah just dunk it in there and burn and bubbles. <laughs> I have an idea for it. Need to get around to making that video. All right. As always, you spoil me, you're wonderful, you send me the best stuff, and I appreciate it. If you want to send me something, mailing address is down in the description. If you want to ask a question, ask it on the comments of this video. That's where I pull the next video's questions from. And as always, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>